Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. On today's episode, we're going to be talking once again about Ragged Branch. This is the Bottled and Bond Rye release. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Matt, why don't you tell us a little bit about this rye release? All right. The Ragged Branch Bottled and Bond Rye, once again, brought to us by my brother and sister, Michael and Smith at the top. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. Let's review this one. All right. So, like you said, it's 50% because it has to be because it's a bottle and bond. It has to be at least four years old, one distiller, one season, one bonded warehouse there. Mash bill of 83% rice, 17% malted barley, zero corn. So, that's kind of an interesting thing. And once again, everything is grown, milled, mash fermented, distilled, and all that fun stuff there on the farm. So, let's see what we think. We have a history for you of the previous video. If you'd like to learn all about Ragged Branch and how they make their products, uh, one quick thing that they do you can buy meat that they feed with all of the spent grain right there at the distillery. And we're very excited about this. And we know from like first, my sister and brother-in-law have uh, bought that meat that it's freaking delicious. I can only imagine how tasty that would be. I just okay, want to so eat the meat and drink the whiskey so badly. You said there's no corn in this. Correct. Right. That's good. The other two releases that we have reviewed, do they have corn in them? Both, Both are very heavy corn. Maybe it's the corn. Ooh. Maybe it's the corn. Maybe right, because there's no funkiness on the nose on this. Huh. It's maybe maybe it's because I don't know what variety of corn they're using, because I asked, but I never really got an answer. So see if I can nose around a little more and get that, what varietal is. I'm, it might be an heirloom corn thing then. So to me, I'm getting a very spearmint rye. Yeah. It's very, very mint fresh. Um, it's almost cooling to the nose. Yeah, I don't get that pickle feel at all with this. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Very mint heavy, a little bit of pepper. Yep. And it's like a green pepper, um, like a fajita pepper. I get a little bit of clove. I get black pepper along with that green pepper. Yeah. It's uh, like pumpernickel bread, a little bit of anise, black pepper. It's very vegetable, like a celery salt. It really it's is. Yeah, um, almost like asparagus water. Yeah, like cardamom, coriander, like a little bit of orange blossom, jasmine tea. It's a very vegetal, earthy rye. It's a very unique rye. There's a lot going on in this rye. Yeah, I, I don't know of another rye that's this kind of earthiness. Mm -mm. Wet uh, spinach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even like mushrooms, like a little bit of brown gravy. Yeah. Yep. Very oh, interesting. Like a like a like a buttered portobello. Sizzle. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's so funky. But I like funky. So funky for me it's is a be, good note for me. It might be their corn varietal. Or there might be their corn that is giving. Yeah. Them, or I wonder Super if they have the same barrels or if they made different barrel selections for these. I, they said they use all the same when I talked to them. So I don't know. I'm not, well, getting any of not the pine. I'm not getting any of the resin. I'm not getting any of the tree oh. sap that and I was see, getting I, on both I of the bourbon. I do get releases. a little tiny bit of the barnyard Oops. feel very far in the back, but that it's not, not anything like the last one that we had that it was just yeah, all spearman. I could smell. No, I'm getting a worn leather on this one. I feel like is the only note that is the same on this one that was on either of the rye, or either of the bourbons that we just had. Yeah, and that worn leather may be a cuts thing. Yeah, it very well could be where they're doing their cuts. Very interesting. Uh, this one smells. This one smells like really good. Thing. This is a, an atypical rye for me. This smells delicious, very uh, and I'm actually yep. really excited to take a sip. All right, let's see. Oh, lots of jasmine tea, pumpernickel. Yes. Tons of black pepper. Like a little bit of like a, like a carrot cake, but same vegetal, celery salt and coriander. It's also very drying. I go petrol like like a burnt lumber. Cinnamon. I feel like uh, I feel like I just licked a, a barrel after the very yeah, very end. Of heavy the barrel char. It doesn't, it doesn't hit you way up front, but at the no, very at the very, very end, finish. it's got a very strong dry. dry like, uh, like a short name like dry. The moisture out of your tongue. It's got the spearmint, the cooling feel to it for me. Um, but yes, it's got a lot of 
greenery going on in there that I've never really had does. in a ride That's before. That's super interesting. I wonder what ride rattle this is, too. Same thing. Very unique. Yeah. That no other ride remotely <laughs> tastes like that. Oh, a scotch rye. Ooh. One second. She's like, I, I think I remember. I'm going to grab that Johnny Walker rye. Oh, Johnny Walker rye. This has um, a lot of pepper forward and almost like romaine lettuce. It really Besides does. Besides the vegetal note, to me, this is very, it's more down home plate of what rye, of rye that I like. Mm -hmm. um, it, it doesn't especially have that with that black pepper ding and the spearmint, the, finish, the and minty, that, that minty cooling finish at the end. It doesn't but have that pickle. It doesn't have any of the dill notes. It doesn't have uh, it doesn't have that 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 note that I just really don't enjoy. It's not sharp on the nose. Mm -hmm. uh, I found a, a I thought I might have found a new favorite rye. Is this something that we can get around here, or do you have to get it in Virginia? I don't know the answer to that question. I've never seen rye get branch here, but it doesn't mean it's not here. We can certainly reach out to the story and find out the answer to that. Good question. It is definitely similar to the Johnny Walker rye. Very interesting. interesting. So I wonder what kind of varietal we're talking about here. Ragged branch. That's a very unique rye. I can't it think of really anything that really is. that's like that. That's super unique. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Well, good job, guys. Um, yeah, yeah that's order online, but they won't ship to us. Oh. Store locator. There we go. Store locator. We're finding out. Look, okay. they're in more states than just they're Virginia, not in Texas. Good, but they're not in Texas yet. But you can get okay. them in Florida. You can get them in Virginia. You can get them in Alabama, Alabama and Georgia, Mississippi, Louisiana, Louisiana, yeah, Arkansas. Okay, so they're close. They'll probably be here soon then. Yeah, that means they're expanding out. That's good. And that that that's as far as they've made it is yeah. Louisiana. It looks like, <clears throat> and that's Lake Charles. So it's, it's fairly close to the Texas okay. border. Like Shreveport, and Shreveport too. Yeah, because they've got. Another, they've got a regular weeded, they've got a double oaked, bur another double oaked of their signature bourbon. I guess they call Louisiana Reserve, it's supposed to be their special bourbon. So maybe someday we'll try those and review those for you guys. But uh, Indeed. I think overall, I think you guys are definitely doing the right thing, doing it the right way. Website. It's uh, yeah, I think we're doing a good job. Super responsive when I, we've been uh, emailed back and with the, them. Um, so yeah, I think we're doing a good job. Uh, looking forward to seeing what these guys do in the next few years and uh, really see uh, what else happens to these guys. So, yeah, good job. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, really enjoyed the rye release. Yeah, if it makes it here, I'll buy one for sure. Yeah. All right. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell and come hang out with us live on Monday nights. And until next time. Keep on crusading better whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. Um, but bless you. Um, but um, but um, but um, but um, but um, but bless you. The rise definitely the best one. I like it too. So I mean, when it has that nice black pepper in there, it makes me happy. Here it is.